okay guys in this video tutorial we will learn how we can take a digital input with the help of Arduino and how we can process it as we know that digital input just consists upon 0 and 1 and if Arduino is concerned Arduino used to provide us a lot of pins to deal with the digital inputs and outputs so in order to do this simulation we first need our Arduino Uno. Maybe you don't have Arduino Uno in your Proteus. So first of all, you need to download this library and then you can use it. So after you have taken this Arduino Uno, you can see that from 0 pin number 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 13, these 14 pins are actually the digital inputs output pins are so called as the digital IOs. They are also called as GPIOs that is general purpose input output because they can also produce some sort of PLUM. So apart from this Arduino we also need logic toggle which will provide us a 0 or 1 input that is 9, 0, 1 and 9 so our digital input is connected to the pin number 9 of Arduino and, and, and in order to see the output we can use the serial monitor and in Proteus, serial monitor is also called as the virtual terminal. Here you can see that it is written RXT and TXT. RXT must be connected with that of the TXT of Arduino and TXT must be connected with that of the RXT of Arduino. So our circuit is completed. Okay, also save it so that We are not going to lost it then go to the arduino uno and here we will see that we we are using pin number nine is input so take nine okay so what it is actually depicts first uh, we have a variable we have written a variable any any name it can be any name but its type is integer that is an in, in input variable only integer type data is stored so what is stored inside this input the number nine that is the integer nine is stored in the input then wire setup is a built-in function of the arduino which used to execute just one time then serial dot begin 9600 means that it is the initialization for the serial communication then pin mode 9 comma input means that pin mode i declares a pin is either input or output if you have written output instead of input pin number 9 will x as an output pin so these are the two declarations then we will come towards the wide loop in wide loop we again created a variable t and what sort of t variable is it is of integer type you can also write as t f t s t a or a b c or anything like that so integer t is equal to digital read of 9 it means that digital read is a built-in command and it will read anything any bit that is 0 or 1 on pin number 9 and whatsoever it is that is 0 or 1 it must be stored inside this t and then after the after it get, got stored then we have an if statement that if t is equal to is equal to 1 mean that if condition actually compares t with this integer 1 that if t is equal to is equal to 1 then serial dot println 1 is there on virtual monitor 1 is there must be written so that we can see that either one is there or not and if t is equal to is equal to zero serial dot print ln zero is there it is written that the 
it is written that it is zero is there so we just need to compile it and after the compilation is done we we need to copy this link which ends at inode.hex and starts from c then go to the arduino and here just paste this link press ok and run it zero is there because we we can see that it is written here is zero when we will push it so one is there we okay now we, we pushed and it is one and if it is in normal condition it is zero so zero and one zero and one so hopefully you got the concept regarding the digital input inside the proteus so thanks for watching this video